Give me one second. I'm gonna. I'm sending out notifications right now for the stream. It's a pretty big stream, so get ready. Ah, oh, come on. Shit. Hang on. I didn't change the goddamn thumbnail. Okay, y'all can hear me, right? see what this looks like Okay. All right, all right, right. Turn it down just a tiny bit. We're gonna turn turn my mic up. Apparently, it's already up. All right. Get this transitioned over. What's up, guys? Politics Gaming here, and today we're doing a brand new live stream. <clears throat> this is a uh, a live stream which will uh preview the new 6.83 update you can actually see right here that my version is now 6.83 this is a brand new major update from eversim been in contact with them the past couple of days and uh, i have been uh, eagerly awaiting this and i know a lot of you guys have been waiting for this too so um, we're gonna go ahead and People are making fun of me in the chat, in the Discord chat. What is the update about? They better have implemented the option to create cities. It's a update. It's not a DLC, my guy. Okay, so need to get change log. Actually, the change log has. It's not on the website from what I saw, but let's see, you can go to full list here. Patches and updates. Oh, see, I need to go to patches and updates. Okay, so apparently like 40% of the list was missing whenever he sent it to me. So we have a couple of other things to discuss. Let's go over here over here um we are going to grab south korea australia they have an election canada oh canada my home and native land <laughs> kenya what is their deficit right now, Kenya? Kenya, 4.8. Inflation. 
GDP per capita, elections. Why does everyone have an election so close? Mexico, North Korea. I don't think Mexico has another election for a couple of years. Taiwan. Oh. Ooh, try to pick a country. It's always the hardest one. Never said it has to be a DLC noob. And let's do Canada. I'm going to test out the one that I've been waiting for first, and then we will go through everything. I have been waiting for this feature for so long. I hope this works. I hope, I hope, I hope. Let's go. Let's go. What have they added to change? That will go through that in a moment. But first, let's get up to 10 likes before we um, go through all these changes. Would like to go. I would like to uh, get that done. So let's get up to 10 likes before I do anything. But while I do that, I am testing out the tariffs option. So, automobile construction, custom duties. If I want to place a tariff on the, 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 the China, let's do eight. Let's start off small, 5%. Oh, oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, I love that. I love that so much. Let's go up to 15%. Oh. Custom duties, 6.325 billion. Custom duties, 20%, 6.325. Oh, look at that. They actually make you some money. So again, this is a good money-making tool now. That's why I've been so adamant about getting it, because it's literally blocking you from making money at the cost of some economic growth and diplomatic relations and everything. Can we put a quarter on it? Steel, automobile, construction, any sector in which you import. Import much more than you export. Yeah. So that's like what you could be doing is that you can be saying like, okay, we can't, we need to, we need to stop. Uh, we need to kind of like come in and like, we need more automobiles or something like that. You're going to be looking at like, your production, your consumption, and your trade balance. And then these are the ones that you're going to be uh, slapping tariffs on. 30%. We're really trying to test to see where the line is. Is it update visible anywhere? I can't seem to view it on Steam. It's It should automatically download. Uh, check your downloads. 35%. Let's go ahead and go to 50, 50%. Let's see where we're at. Wow. Well, how much was that a minute ago? Hang on, I forgot. Where was my money? 6.325. Three six point three six two. Oh, it's barely even gone up. Major update as in we broke the game more. Major update and OMG features actually work. Um, major, uh, OMG features actually work is is how I'm seeing it. Creation of coalition. I don't have a coalitions Canada. God save the king, yes sir. So let's come over 
here automobile let's continue to raise tariffs we're gonna go 65 percent E5. A hundred percent tariffs. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Backstar is rolling right now. Like, why the hell are you putting a hundred percent tariffs on automobiles? So let's see, production just went up a tiny bit, consumption is stationary, GDP activity in the country is minimal, what about profits? I want to see what this does over like a month of just 100% tariffs, but my god, you can put tariffs! Let's go! I'm gonna start tariffing the shit out of China that way I can see I told you he's, he's like the, the hell are you doing well testing see what it does to my relations is China economic member of the EU travel bans by head of state international embargoes Special bonus, Malice. Reward data. Interference, starting rumors. Let's go. Look at that. Student exchanges actually have this thing. Give subsidies. Give subsidies. Ah! Strategic alliance, conflicts, economic relations between China and Canada. Going to get kicked out of the WTO. No, WTO doesn't care anymore. That's the thing. That's the whole thing about the update. It's that they don't care. They finally changed it where you can slap a tariff on someone and be a little protectionist. They should have dropped tariffs in the FTA update. No! That Then that would basically force you to become a liberal. That's the thing about that. That wouldn't... If that effectively wouldn't be neutral because it would effectively force you to only seek uh, free trade agreements. And I'd actually, that would be a really bad idea because, again, like, in, in, the, in the update that they released, the FTAs, they actually literally kind of, like, reworked how custom duties work. But the only thing is, is that you couldn't use them because you always got kicked out of the WTO. Where's the patch notes? It's on the website. Um, so since I finally tested this out, so we're actually making a little bit of money. I'm kind of still testing out what the uh, what the effects are over a month. So they actually didn't add about forty percent of what they actually added until until the uh, um, update actually released. So Bosnian and Herzegovinian membership. Imagine if Ukraine applied. That would be funny. So. Property threshold. Got a lot. Got a lot. Got a lot. Got a lot. I'm just ignoring that. Correction of staffing and salary changes in nationalized sectors. So. Staffing. Salary changes in nationalized sectors. Energy. What is this? Hydraulic. Ooh. I have a zero nationalized sectors. Would be interesting to see the economic impact on China. Yeah. So the economic impact is kind of weird, kind of like fluctuates up and down. 
So what about on the sector itself? Nationalize the service sector. <laughs> Never take economic advice from Backstar. So trade balance is down 100 million. Production is up. Consumption is stationary. GDP activity in the country and global share of this country's activity is the same. Trade balance is down. Sales are down. Profits are up about $10 million, $15 million. Productivity index is up. Income tax is up. Employment. Supply embargoes and shortages. I bet this is going to get reworked in the next, like, in the 2023 edition. There has to be a way for you to have, like, product shortages and, like, higher gas prices and everything. And even even he acknowledged it in, in one of the emails that I had um, where he talked about, like, you know, higher energy prices, product shortages, blah, 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 blah. And I bet they're thinking, like, we need to do this in the next in the next uh, edition. So, I always test out the stuff as the United States, so. Where's the patch notes? Yeah. Um, it's on their website. Go to uh, updates and patches. That's where it is. Um, okay, so the first one is correction of staffing and salary sh changes in nationalized sectors. They modified the skin colors of personalities in South Africa. The cor there's a correction on negative purchase and sale prices for newly opened sectors. So, it's like whenever... <laughs> I remember this. This was a so that one was a basically if you were to start up the great public bionic sector, the great public bionic sector would um, it would it would effectively have this like really big negative number and it would look really, really stupid. So that's what they changed there. So I actually know. So that's good because it kind of made me not really care about those sectors. So hopefully that is changed and we can actually do it. Um, all right, I'll send you a link. All right, I have to stop the whole stream to send back, Backstar a link. So... We're just... Where's Backstar? There you are. Okay. And then... Okay. What I really want to check is the efficiency of food contracts. So if you guys actually watched uh, my video... Verified Steam, but there's nothing. Well... Try restarting Steam, I guess? When you're doing a UK gameplay. Oh yeah, that's what I need to be doing. I need to be playing as UK right now. Global share of this country's activity. 1307. Goddamn. Um, anyway, there's a struggle to get rid of their deficit of 12%. They have a 12% deficit. Or the United States. Anyway. Um, correction on negative purchase and sale prices for newly opened sectors. Correction on budgetary impact when imposing price cuts on a certain on a, on certain sectors of activity. So I'm actually going to go over here. Maybe that's because of the uh, recent events. So let's do price reduction to electricity. I wish I. Supply. We have a hundred and seven percent supply. <laughs> Always good to have an oversupply. Fuel. Hose. Oh, 
Electricity surplus, nuclear, 60%. Oh, um, so anyway, we're going on. Recalculation of the impact of the UN COP Green Fund and budgets of contributing and recipient countries. The change to the political repositioning of the German party, Die Partei. Which, let's go ahead and look. Italian Mafia, um, da da ba, ba ba ba. Secret services. Uh, manage networks. Do we have a. Of course, we don't have one. Um, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Germany. Deutschland. Deutschland. Die Parte. Greens. The Nationalists. Uh-oh. Progressives. So in Die Parte, what were which one were they? This was actually suggested by another uh, watcher of mine. He actually made a comment on the video. Queen Norm normally passes around 2024. Play Clawfinger. This music is making me tired. <laughs> yeah, Clawfinger is a very good choice. Other than uh, smooth jazz, smooth jazz. Uh, big updates out of Ukraine. We actually see that they're launching a major offensive and retaking areas around Kharkiv. So, Slava Ukraine. Um, adjustment of the Green Fund calculation for contributors and recipients. Political repositioning of Dipart political repositioning of the party of the head of state of the Netherlands. Correction on coalitions when playing an opponent. Resetting election pledges after an election. In the context of co of coalition formation, uh, adjusted the lifetimes of disasters suffered by the player and left under the control of AI countries. Um, so I guess that's mainly like if there's like a natural disaster in Poland or something like that, like a hurricane hits Poland and then they're like, oh well, uh, uh, and then they like literally just kind of leave it. <laughs> so I guess that's what they're changing. How is subsidizing help start a new interest in industry? How much money to put in? Um, I'll get to that later. Um, but going on, restore land bases in Poland. I don't, I honestly have no idea what that means. It's probably talking about some of the military bases. Um, what else? Fix the command of an SMR plant. Fixed the command of an SMR plant. I guess it was maybe the command, like there was like a SMR somewhere in the world and and it uh there was an SMR somewhere in the world and I guess it was uh under a different country. Put in 100 billion. Don't listen to him. Don't take your uh, PNR advice from Backstar. He's a liar. Um this is the big one, and that's I'm still kind of currently testing right now. Change it into WTO reaction level to the setting of tariffs. And then correction of the ordinates in the graph of world in the graph of the world CO2 emissions. Uh, positioning repositioning of a Ukrainian political party. Adjustment in the efficiency of food contracts, which I'm gonna try to test. Um, correction of the G8 summit display whenever the G7 is extended. Modification of alignments between Algeria and Morocco. Correction on negative labor. Unlocking of missile production for countries with the technology. Update of the crime rates. Fixed 3D flag display during speeches once the flag has been modified. Um, remove the choice of city. For the delivery location of ordered military equipment. Let me actually check that one out real quick. Because I want to see if they actually. So the United States. Yes. Okay. So. Only bases now. It's only bit. Wait. Is it really? Oh. Okay. Kind of see what they did now. There was a lot of different bases. And they write patch notes in English. It is in English. You're going to play Victory? Yes. 
Can you check the UK, see if Charles is in? I'm pretty sure they're not. Like, this game starts at the beginning of 20. Like, Boris Johnson is still, is still Prime Minister at this time, so the Queen is still going to be there, obviously. So, it won't be until the 2023 edition whenever they will say, like, yeah, we're we're changing who the monarch is and in uh in the game um correct that the naming of the national capital when it's transferred repatriation of infantry men is now done by cargo plane correction of the cost distribution cell between the countries when building a high-speed rail line abroad adjustment of targets for area bombing bombing Possibility to change the personnel of a new sector after its first power plant construction. Correction of a feedback request to changes of objectives at the UN COP. Influence of the cannabis tax on the price of legalized cannabis. Uh, fix the freeze for some conflicts with the illegal groups and solved with uh, God and Spy. Updated the population of many cities, including in Brazil. Especially in Brazil. Fix the disappearance of cities after annexation by countries. And this is another one that they actually did. Addition of its own national bank went in the list of lending countries even for an internationally assisted country. So its own national bank, which is itself, the, these are all the national banks. Why why are we why are we why are we borrowing money from Russia? Come on. Quarterly surplus. Um, what else? What else? What else? <clears throat> I'm gonna have to zoom in on this. Ah, they actually did add something for the UK. <clears throat> okay, so. Fix the freeze, updated population, added its own national bank. Correction on the Edinburgh Festival article. Several article, several corrections. So this is a big one that I'm actually pretty excited for, and I'm going to continue to go after this in the game. Um, corrections on the nuclear fusion sector, which is now classified as a renewable energy. So that means that whenever you discover the, the fusion nuclear uh, power station, you can now build it, and then actually it will contribute to you being classified as a green country, which is a very much uh, exactly what it is. So I'm I'm very excited that <coughs> I'm very excited that they finally have a nuclear sector, which is now classified as green energy. So that's a big one. So you know, whenever I'm playing as the United States and I discover fusion power. Then I can start building it and just streamlining it, and then it's going to be like, okay, you're a green country. Thank you so much for investing in green green energy. Um, added the commercial port of Odessa in Ukraine. So, actually, it wasn't there. Commercial port right here. It's an oil terminal. All right. Now you have the opportunity to just take it out. Take it out of existence. <laughs> Um, where it is, it renamed the title of Prime Minister to President of the Council in Italy. Can I actually see that? President of Council. Yes. Is that really what they're called in Italy? They're called the President of the Council. Guys, go ahead and leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. We Let's get up to about 20 likes. Um, if you guys are new to this channel, I'm doing a giveaway. I can do a giveaway on this stream right now if you guys want to uh, get me to 6,500 subscribers. Can we get to 6,500 on this stream? If you are not subscribed to me right now, then you need to change that right now. Hit that red subscribe button and let's get the 6,500 on this stream and I will do a giveaway right now on stream of the power and revolution 2022 edition so if you guys are interested in that go
go ahead and let's let's make it happen. always love these kinds of streams because it always just like there's like not that much activity going on in my in my channel and then it's just like boom um still got we still got a couple of a couple other uh changes adjustment of votes and union opinion on the liquor tax amendment correction of the carbon neutrality goal request champagne allowed in nigeria's brs brs i guess uh like a meeting with them Correction of the calculation of the urbanization rate when annexing country. Corrected article titles and queries for some discoveries, which is like AIDS vaccine, the youth pill, etc. Added text in the WTO membership panel. So let's go over to the United Nations, go over to the WTO. What is this? The WTO. What what text? Publicly contest the organization. Huh. They changed the name the, the name of it. Question the actions of the organization. So I guess question the action so it's actions and legitimacy of the organization. But they oh changed the text, added text in a WTO membership panel. It's literally just they changed it from publicly contest the organization. They also changed, like, question the actions of the organization. Because you should say, questions the actions and legitimacy of the organization. A lot of aesthetics. A lot of aesthetics. Oh, WTO. I'm an idiot. Or WHO. WHO. That's what I meant to say. WHO. Consistent display of the number of road deaths between countries. Correction of a crash between uh, the construction of a gas field. Correction when creating a mod with region independence. Update of China's military production and its tire production. Oh, yeah, that's big. <laughs> uh, correction during the appointment of the proposal to participate in a space program. Update of social minima in Russia. What is what is social minima? Social minima. Social minimum. Bundle of resources which suffices in the circumstances of a society to enable someone to lead a minimally successful. Oh, so, uh, social protection is what that is. It's welfare. So they updated welfare in Russia. Updated many data for Lithuania. Update for rare earth oxides and nickel productions. And various corrections. So, that is the update. That is the update. But yeah. Um, again, if you guys are interested in having a, up, a, a giveaway for Power and Revolution 2022 edition so you guys can check out this update, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you have not. And if you guys want to get me to 6,500 subscribers on this stream right now, we can get 50 subscribers on this stream. Can we get 50 subscribers on this stream? substandard housing rate see again they're changing a lot of these words throughout the update that definitely was like it said something else it did not say substandard Don't you think Eversim should release small updates every X weeks instead of releasing a big one every X amount of months? I don't know. Um, it's more... Yeah, I, I, I see where you're coming from, but it's not like... 
I don't know. I can't I can't figure out a way to word it word it right now. I'm also still kind of waking up right now. It's 954. And I just kind of looked and I was like, he was like, hey, here's a change log. And I was just like, shit. <laughs> also, how does the game look on my on on the stream right now? I just got a 1440p monitor and I'm still kind of like trying to optimize it for streaming and everything. Um, so if you guys see any issues with it, just let me know. Lots of procedure. See, I don't. Uh, I still don't understand this one. At least Eversim gives you the option to become a national, uh, international pariah. <laughs> Inflation, interest rate. I will love the day whenever Sim gives the option, like five different options here to affect your currency, quantitative easing, quantitative easing, um, obviously the interest rate, a couple other inflation measures to kind of like fight inflation. All right, guys, leave a like on the video. Let's get up to 20 likes right here. And again, if you guys are interested in doing a giveaway on the stream right now, let's get up to 6,500 subscribers. You guys can hear me okay, right? Financial transactions acts the best way to make money. Um, sometimes it does affect your growth a lot, so I always. I would like to. I hear you. Yeah, no, I'm just trying to make sure that the quality of the sound sounds okay. Um, Lithuania. <laughs> I'm just trying to make sure the quality sounds okay. Okay, so what did I do here? They apparently changed something here. Ah, ah, too many. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I actually added a new thing. Last road safety numbers have fallen. This reveals a reduction in accidents, which brings the total number of deaths to 9,131. Oh, that is so cool. I love that. I love that so much. They actually added the uh, the the car accident uh, met metric into the into like a little box that you get from the from your secretary. I love that. I love that so much. Now we can actually like know instead of you know having to forget about it and then go look or something like that. Last road safety measures have fallen. This reveals a reduction in accidents, which brings the total number of deaths to nine thousand one hundred and thirty one this quarter. This marks a falling trend. These are very bad figures, Mr. President, Mr. President, which reflect their absence of a good 
will policy regarding prevention and penalties as a new update work with an old save game prop um i always start a new brand new save just to make sure that everything works correctly i'm not gonna risk um just breaking my game with bugs um what is the major update can anyone tell me see that's the fun part about having to go through all of it at the beginning of the video because then everyone just like was like hey can someone tell me can someone tell me what it is even though i like he, he went through and said it oh look at this Ladies, population census report. Gosh, Mr. President, we have completed the population census. All our teams in the field indicate the enthusiasm which our fellow countrymen helped build in this consultation. I'm therefore proud to inform you that our population consists of 337,468,923 inhabitants, an increase of 0% compared to the previous year. Four human beings and 100 belong to our nation. So we hold about 4% of the world's population. That is so cool. I'm noticing this. I'm noticing there's a lot more uh, metrics that they kind of give you and say, hey, like this is uh, this is our population now. And these are the road accidents. And everything. So that's actually really interesting. Like, I love that. I love that a lot. Population. over here services railway and you guys know what time it is what i actually really want i want a map of your alliances so you can actually see stuff like nato up here you can kind of see like where your alliances are kind of kind of like uh around i guess is it possible to raise you interested in the european union um i actually don't play a lot of U european union countries i need to play more of them because I, I i i've considered making a eu tutorial I am so close, by the way, to finishing. Uh, I'm so close to finishing the uh, political ideology tutorial, by the way. Like, it is very, very close to being done. I have one more major sec section um, to, to finish. I worked on it last night until I finally just kind of finished. Uh, so there's like six sections on it, but there's five sections that are like full of stuff tutorials like just stuff like content basically um so it's basically i just have to do section five and then like the conclusion which is section six and and then it's done and again this will be the largest project that i have done since the economic tutorial Let's also look political repositioning in Netherlands. So Netherlands is now a center party. Center right. Center right. Thank God I didn't say anything about the colors. In uh in uh wait, no, it is center. No 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 oh, okay, well, yeah, they're center rights. Okay, okay, okay. There's still two communists, yeah. <sighs> Where's the second communist? There it is. No? No, there it is. Zimbabwe. Time to check the UK. Try to get them back into the European Union. I don't think I don't think that would be liked.
economic relations, strategic map. Apparently Bosnia and Herzegovina really like to join, join NATO at the beginning. UK is conservative, right? Yeah, they're conservative rights. Well, they're uh, not conservative right. They're uh, um, they're right, right here. So they're right. They're not conservative rightist. They're right. Wait. I just realized that I think in my tutorial I actually made the mistake of calling the United Kingdom's uh, conservative party a conservative rightist. And are actually right. I'm gonna have to, hang on. Did I even put right in there? Communism, socialism, Right, I did. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. So I put the United Kingdom, Austria, Bost, Botswana, Kenya, Madagascar, and Greece. But I did make the mistake of actually saying the Conservative Party in Britain is a conservative rightist party. But okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the UK real quick after this. Now now that everything's being said, um, or actually I can go over here, manage networks. Um, manage networks. Go to the United Kingdom. The groups we have two: the United Protestant Confederation and the Union for a Traditional Republic are the conservative rightists, but the main one is the Liberal Democratic Party, which is right. Okay, so I'm gonna have to make sure I correct that whenever I get to it. Okay, that's enough of that. Okay, so let's go over here. Um, custom duty, $70.4 billion. I want to see the economic effects of slapping a tariff on China for building housing and roadways. So we're going to slap a 25% tariff on there. No, not on the United Kingdom. Vatican City, non-producer. <laughs> Oh my god, we can we can tear up the Vatican now. I'm just gonna like totally embargo. Since when can you put some of these territories on here now? San Marino? Are there in Marianas Islands? Really? What's going on? Hang on, where is it, where is it? Uh, China, 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 China. China. So building housing and roadway. Twenty five percent on chemicals. Oh, we actually produce more water supply networks in China. Where we're still slapping a tariff on them. Let me see. Trade balance, 7.8. Steel. So we have 100% tariffs total on China so far. And we're definitely going to put tariff on steel. Against China. 
So that's 125%. Let's go to the next day, see what that reaction is. Seventy-two point eight. So we have a total of one hundred and twenty-five percent tariffs on China so far. Sectors nationalized. That's actually the other thing that we need to look at. So we go over to nationalized sectors. Where are we at? Farming industry when play when you play as a Russia Syria appears as a con yeah that's the other yes yeah, that's, that's a weird thing that I've seen about about that services here it is postal service sales average salary total workforce Slava Ukraine let's go. Salary. Imagine a privatized mail service. You need to pay. <laughs> you need you need to you need to pay to receive your mail. Subscribe to our premium mail service. Also, guys, it's my birthday month. My birthday is on the 20th, so if you guys want to be generous and uh, donate to me, then... Hell yeah. Respect. So use Nerushimi Respublik Sobodnik. Media supervision to show face to face is in trouble. Huh? Because of the programming supervision imposed by the government, my show face to face has been questioned, Mr. President. They're asking me to justify its interest and pointing out its role that the rules I should apply in order to have authorization continue. Why just give me your speeches and I'll read them or even better replace me with the secretary of education and wipe out the political debate in the United States altogether. Media supervision, the media cut off all our, Oh, they look at that. They actually uh, put uh, the internet tools here in freedom of information, state pressures. Okay. So that's where it is. It's coming from is that we're pressuring and trying to influence uh, that side of the media. Does it not tell you whenever you have a custom duty on it anymore? Wait. Up. Don't tell me that I missed. No, I put them on China. Da -da -da, China. Okay. Usually it would tell you if you had a trade barrier on it, but... I guess not. All activities, custom duties, let's slap a 50% tariff across the entire sector on China. 
No warning. I love that so much. Love that. Love it, love it, love it. 75, that does get you a lot of money. Let's go. All right, let's go over to the farming sector. Slap more tariffs on China. Fifty percent tariffs on China. Energy sector. Custom duties on China. So we started off with like seventy-two billion dollars in revenue. We're at seventy-nine. Our great direct. And then with Russia, we're going to go in. Just going to slap an entire, we're going to slap a total embargo on them. PG, what is the major update? It's an update. I talked about it earlier. God dang it. Ukraine declares war on Russia, military threats to Turkey. It's literally just updates on, like, features, like, you can tariff people now. How I declare war in this update. What, what kind of question is that? What? What? How do I declare a war in this update? It's literally how you declare a war in any update. What? <laughs> like the 21st year after the September 11th attacks. Yeah. Yeah. Where were you guys whenever that happened? If y'all were even old enough to even remember it. I was like almost about to turn four. And... I was about to turn four. All I remember is just my parents just kind of like, actually, it was just my dad because my mom was in New Hampshire during that time. Yeah, right click and attack country. Same way you do it in any other thing. Launch a military attack against this country. Attack country doesn't appear. What? What does it say? On your if you're suing, do it on yourself. It doesn't appear. Countries, selected country, my country, other countries. I like how it still says communication centers on here. Display mobile units, trains. I like how they put the Pentagon in Washington, D.C., the district, whenever it's actually in Virginia. Wait, there's a bug in the Spanish version. What is the bug? Traduction? What is a traduction? Do they still have? Yep. Washington Dulles is literally like all the way up in Pennsylvania for some reason.
The battle is raging. We must make a choice now. The holy grail of energy production. Source of prosperity and security, not only for our nation, but also for the planet. By heavily investing in this research, we can hope to turn this dream into a reality. See what happens whenever I slap 100% tariff on China. Eighty four services, hundred percent. Uh, China and energy. Some duties. Bad figures for unemployment. So, 94. I just got an extra, like, $15 billion just from tariffing the shit out of China. Now to see how that affects my growth. Economic and commercial car policy. It's likely that we're not important to answer right away. On the contrary, we should take into account all the tools at our disposal to enhance our growth in domestic market, as such as tariffs on one hand and free trade agreements on the other. Indeed, let's not, let us not miss any opportunities. And did they fix this? They did not. <laughs> the right click attack country doesn't appear as launch an attack, but launch a cyber attack. Launch a military attack against this country. The SLS. Who actually? I'm gonna see if um. <clears throat> what does that say on the side? I actually want to see if they uh, change the uh, space research. The space research tree at all. Over here, Artemis 2, Artemis. No, they didn't. It's in the Spanish version, not in English one. Have you tried to click the button to see what it does? Could be a translation error. Uh-oh. <gasps> Eversim predicted. Boa. Speed for success, SLS. Riots in Tehran. Oh, you can actually see the uh the situation. Oh you actually couldn't see that before. I think.
SLS is completed. Like, are there refugees going toward Russia? Five hundred thousand, that's insane. Oh, wow. Solidarity Band. Come from Raleigh, where railroad workers were on strike in support of the truck drivers. My intervention was intended to let them know that solidarity strikes are forbidden according to the current legislation on a right to strike. Explain to them whoever stops working to support the professional claims of other workers will be liable for to dismissal of the railroad workers resume their work within the hour. Hang on. Associations. They control. Associations, right the strike, unions, here it is, right the strike, limited and monitored. Um, that's, was that there before? I never really touched the right the strike, honestly. Um, Collective action where the employees of company refuse to work as a of organized protest. Your consequences of their not working put pressure pressure on the management. Um the United States it depends on the the depends on where you are. Did I ever send right anywhere what was changed in the update? Yes. It's on the website. Let me see how you can find it. It is newsletter ranking news the game. It's in patches and updates. Trying to okay, I'm gonna post it in general in the Discord. So if you guys are in the Discord, go ahead and check uh, the Discord. That way you guys can see because a lot of you guys are asking. Apparently, don't know how to find it. I'm uh, trying to find it on there too, but um, but I just posted it in general on the uh, on the Discord. Migration flow.
anti-racism. Construction at the wall of the border. Let's go. Alright, I'm going to look over some more of the update while I continue to play. Trade balance actually went down. <laughs> Since I put all of this uh, tariffs on China, let me actually look. Finance, trade balance. Trade balance is down about a trillion dollars. Could tariffs actually help you? Criminal attack. Whoa! Everyone's just, it's just a massive blocking of the highways in Mexico right now. probably gonna stream up to where i've been streaming for like two hours and then i'm gonna i'm gonna call it that way i can have some time to work on the uh on the political ideology tutorial world without covid united kingdom god save a gracious king Long live a noble king. God save the king. Restore land bases in Poland. I'm still kind of curious about that. Oh, pass the total increase of Secret Service personnel with God and Spy in one day. God, I love the way they try to translate. That's what else I need to check out. I need to check out the adjustment of the efficiency of food contracts. So can I import food from the Netherlands? Beef. Power and Revolution on a 2K monitor is pretty cool, though. Cereals. Russian unit. Contract rejected. What about the United States? Apples. Beef. Let's try that. Average purchase price. Average. Oh, that's why. <laughs> I'll try a smaller country. So, key figures, artists, athletes, family and friends, business, institutions. So, Queen Margaret II. Where's my man, Charles? Where's my man? My, my, my main boy. Scandal? No. Respect for traditions. Never seen that one before. Is, Char is Charles even in here? Intellectuals, physicist, architect, philosopher, novelist, military, other parties, governments, head of state, lenders. Athletes? No? I guess he just comes up. <laughs> 
95, yeah. Let me see. Influence, interest in politics, 20% of the population influenced by the character, 20%. Protestant, she's a royalist. Tracked it today out of state, 25 Terminating photos, lies CV slash diploma, old misdemeanor, real estate scams. I must confess to you that the current level of our budget deficit is not at all reassuring. It weakens our economy while continuously creating more debts. The interest on which we will have to pay. What is our deficit? Oh. I do like how the cabinet is called like it's 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 all pretty accurate. Chancellor of the Exchequer, Secretary of State for Foreign and Commonwealth Affairs, Secretary of State for the Home, Minister for Defense, Minister for Justice, Secretary of State for Children, Schools, and Families. For work and pensions, for the environment, health, transport, culture, media, and sport, and housing. All right, guys, go ahead and leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. If you guys want to see more content, hit that bell notification. Let me go over to transportation here. Cars per capita. Housing. Where's the legislation? Automatic radars, 160 kilometers while at a speed limit was 50 kilometers. In his defense, the apprentice stuntman said, I enjoyed myself. I was, it was like in the movies. <laughs> Blood alcohol. Hmm. <clears throat> <clears throat> Ugh. Speaking of, I think the UK actually does already have a free trade agreement with. Actually, don't. I remember under Boris, they actually signed a free trade agreement with uh, with Japan. Total population, oh, two billion. Is that because India's in there? India, India, India. Yep, India is a part of the Commonwealth. This is a organization. What is it? No. It does over Pacific community. China in this? Eh, whatever. Look at me getting distracted. United Protestant. Oh, that's what I need to play as. 
a religion protestant yeah Hmm. What is that? That's gonna become like the 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 party and what was that? Was that one thing? Uh, like V for Vendetta. Like the neo fascists take over in Britain. Some weird anarchist boy with a mask just comes in and screws it all up. I have a map in my in the room where that I'm in right now where I, I i'm noticing so many inaccuracies and i am so disappointed that it took me so long to figure it out about the inaccuracies it's like china owns taiwan in this map kosovo doesn't exist and actually montenegro does not exist so kosovo and montenegro are both serbia which is weird <laughs> and it's and it's not even an old map it's that like they made the inaccuracy with Serbia, but South Sudan exists. Given that South Sudan is like a different color from Sudan, or is a very the same color as Sudan. Adjustment of the efficiency of food contracts. We're gonna look at that one. We're going to play Kenya. So, food. Who do we import food from? Farming. I see if Kenya can finance his debt issues and national debt, please. Yeah, that's what I noticed, is that basically basically the, the country can now finance his own uh, debt, essentially. We could greatly improve our health. We could greatly improve our health care system if we had the right budget. Attention to the shortage in men in our armed forces. It's not warmongering, but we need to have to maintain a sufficient contingent of well-trained professionals if we want to safeguard the country's security. And this is far from being the case. Yeah, he has a point. I would like to draw your attention to the shortage of men in our armed forces. mountain is this 
Mount Stanley. Literally, it's like sticking out like a sore thumb. Yeah, actually, Kilimanjaro is doing the same thing. Which one's taller? 5,895 meters. Okay, so Kilimanjaro is definitely taller. What is the tallest... Uh, what is the tallest uh, mountain in Africa? I can't remember. I need to start doing more Africa playthroughs. Probably Tanzania. Tanzania actually has a lot of uh, regions. It'd be either Tanzania or Kenya. Tanzania has a lot of regions that we can play with. Zanzibar. <clears throat> we have a lot of geothermal, really. The alarming situation of freight transport may have a negative impact on the economy. If business Okay, so Hey look. There's something I was going to do. Parliament. Um I can dissolve it. Oh. Where's it at? Um, there was literally something I was going to do, and I totally forgot. Oh, <laughs> efficiency of food contracts. Okay, so food, food, food. the population and agriculture so we're gonna go for some cereals beef no probably picked a really bad country for this maize wood wine vegetables Let's try vegetables, since we don't even have a production in them. Contracts, new contract, and Cuba. Some vegetables. Portugal, no. world since there's a very limited amount of people that actually have it let's do nigeria Add clause fifteen seventy eight twelve sixty two. Our budget is in a lot. You know you've been playing this game way too long whenever you can literally say that off the back of your head. Put 
1644. They should accept that. There you go. Contract accepted. All right. So what does the efficiency of such contracts do? That's the question. Maybe it's like if you're about to get into a famine, it kind of prevents you from going into a famine. So it actually makes sense to import food now. I'm going to have to send them an email just to kind of like they actually helped me out last time. So I'll actually be able to understand these things a little bit more. So I'm going to send them an email and I'm just going to say like, hey, so just that way, like uh, I know what these things mean um what what can you tell me about these i also want to try this one so air base fighters impala is it is it is it no No, don't bomb the city. Don't bomb the city, please. Turn the base. No, no, no! Oh, thank God. No? Oh, oh, oh. Well done. You have, you have just signed your first contract. What does monitoring food safety actually do? It's a uh, it's essentially like the FDA. <clears throat> food safety basically it's like a uh, um for one it it's required you have to have at least like 5 stars invested into it in order to have um to uh sign a global economic treaty. Um but two it's basically just kind of like ensuring that you have um laws relating to food safety that way it can it also uh does reduce your poverty so that's the biggest thing that it does is that it uh reduces your poverty um relating to food <sighs> so what did that say correct the naming of the capital fix the command of an smr plant Adjustment of targets for area bombing. Oh, okay. Oh, area bombing. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's this. It's this. So it... I remember, like, I would always have an issue whenever I would try to use it. It would basically... It would basically just say, like, haha. Like, it would be sent on the mission, and then they would, uh... It would always kind of like say like, aha, no, I'm going to abort this mission because we didn't have any targets. So. Okay, now I get it. thought it was like food stamps because people love it so much. No, it's basically like. It's basically like. um, Like you're increasing the amount of money that is going into. Just think about it like the FTA. The Food and Drug Administration, where they kind of regulate how food is operated and everything. The housing sector is not doing well, Mr. President. How much are we making off of tariffs? So if I wanted to slap... Tariff... On... The world... 
Okay, it won't let me do that. But we can slap a tariff on China. 45% and it reduces our deficit. Again, it's a money-making feature. I like it. <clears throat> I would like to draw. I would like to draw your attention to the social media. It's like you're. It's like your grandfather just found out like what a thing and it's like they come to you and that horrifying 3D face and Protestant community as the government. What are you turning Kenya into a religious country? You are turning Kenya into a religious country, Mr. President. The state that's us doesn't just pay for the Protestant communities, religious teachers imposed by on all the school's establishments, but for all of the peripheral expenses of worship. The Protestant community is becoming too influential in the functioning of the country, Mr. President. We firmly disagree with such a change in Kenya. Political parties, legality, religion, state power, influence of official religion and state functioning. All right, boys, time to go to executive power subject to approval by religious, religious officials. Oh, yeah, if we go any further in this, there's going to be a civil war. <laughs> you guys know. You guys know what happens whenever uh, with a less than a majority. Tries to change the laws, especially in Africa. Complete freedom, but executive power and roles and commandments. Just taint. Just we're, we're going theocracy in Kenya. Shelly's. <laughs> Population census report. I love that. I love this. And I love the road safety. Over to health, health, automobile accidents, excessive speed, alcohol level, inadequate highway patrol, highway patrol resources, and poor quality of roads are how you could reduce them. Excessive speed, so lowering the speed limits or installing more uh, radars. We're gonna continue on for another 20 minutes and then we're gonna go ahead and call this stream and I'm gonna go work on a, I'm gonna go work on a, a finishing, at least a, putting a major dent in the uh, um, political ideology tutorial today. What time is it? So, highway patrols. So I can increase funding to highway patrol, and then that will lower automobile ac ac accidents. Okay, so actually, this is going to be... Automobile accidents is going to be here. Killed in road accidents per year, 19,000.
have not ordered en We have not ordered enough vaccines. Oh, so how are y'all today? Shinyere Yulo. I also need to make sure Protestant community religious education is mandatory. Courses in religion are taught as a basic subject in all public and private educational facilities. Mr. President, we have also added a subject to all examinations or official competitions in Kenya. Protestant community religious employees paid by the ministry are one of the manage are the ones who manage the school curricula and contents of the examinations. What? Since when? Since when was there like? Hang on. I don't play religious countries that much, honestly. I always play pretty secular countries. Legislation, freedom of the teachers. Hang on. Religion. Religion, state power. Politics or temporal power determines the social organization. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So this affects like education, health, everything like that. So the social organization of the country is affected by how this is uh, made. Zoink, Scoob! It happened again. Zoinks! Let, 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 let's get out of here, Scoob! They're invading you, great Scoob! Oh no! Immediately starts nuking. <laughs> Cause of death. Oh my god, I'm in the... <laughs> I'm in the uh, security council. I'm gonna abstain. I also need to update my Brazil save now because that's what I was actually waiting for. I was waiting for um, the update to come out, and I was going to make more episodes of the Brazil series. So I need to go in and um, kind of remember a lot, of, maybe a lot of the laws that I changed and everything. And then I'll be able to go in and I'll... Uh, um, this is what I've been doing, is that I've just been making it through a modding tool. And the modding tool has actually been helping me a lot. The only thing is, is that now I have to make sure that I get the economy right on how it was before the update. So, I'll have to take some notes and everything and apply it to the new update. And we were cyber attacked. No. Farming. China.
lack of confidence in the courts of the country. Wonder and worry about the competencies of the magistrates recently appointed by the government. 71% of citizens have no confidence in a judge appointed by the state in 76, even admit that they must have obtained the position by pulling strings and not by experience. Imagine the image of justice keeps deteriorating. Go to justice. Jesus Christ, the occupancy rate is 173%. Crime is pretty low, actually. Prison population. Balance of power. Ban the death penalty. Amnesty. Japan cyber attacked us, really? We have cut the planes. $334 million lost to the GDP after that cyber attack. Any news on the competition for the DLC for your fourth generation warfare? Um, I need to go ahead and start making a list of those that applied for it, and then we'll we'll go forward with that. Um, what I'm also doing is, again, we want to go for 6,500 subscribers so I can do that giveaway for Power and Revolution. Um, I think for today, this is enough previewing the new update for now. Um... Really want to get that uh the update or that uh video done, so I'm gonna go ahead and call it here. Um, I'm gonna if I depending on what's going on, I'll probably try to stream maybe later today or something like that. Depends on what I what can I what I can do for that video. Guys, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new. If you guys want to see more content like this, hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss anything whenever I do make it. Um, I don't know if the quality of this stream is pretty good. I just got a new monitor and everything. I'm still trying to optimize OBS for it. So I'll uh, definitely kind of like work on that. And then uh, I'm pretty sure next time it's going to be probably look a little bit better or something like that. But guys, leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new. If you guys want to see um, more content like this, hit that bell notification icon. Subscribe to the channel. Let's go to 10,000 subscribers. Beat Francie. 10,000. He is ahead of us right now. He actually got a big boost after we announced the competition. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss whenever I do post the uh, political ideology video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching and take care.